one weakness of mine that I had to overcome was I would be my biggest, worst enemy. I'd be my biggest critic, constantly beating myself down. No matter how far I got, no matter what progress I made, there was still, I would still complain about something. I would still nitpick at something. It was never good enough. And I know some of you guys out there are dealing with the same thing where it's like, you want to be successful. You're so motivated, you're so driven, because that was me. I'm such a ruthlessly driven person that the other side is a gift and a curse. The other side of that is I can be ruthless to bring myself down because I want it so bad. And for a while it was starting to really take effect. I had to really get control over that. And what I started to do was acknowledge the wins just a little bit more. Like I said before, I don't rest in the wins too long, just like I don't rest in the losses. If we, if we take an L, you know, we lose. That's a part of this as well. Like, I don't rest in it for very long. I don't allow it to take over for very long. I don't allow a loss or a setback to consume me for very long, right? So if I didn't meet this particular expectation of mine, I don't rest there for very long. What I do do is take the lesson from it. Right? I started, you have to change the habits. You have to change the actions with, okay, if a setback occurs, if a setback happens, you do this. It's a habit. I started to create the habit of when a setback happens, when, okay, I missed the mark on something, well, what can I learn from it? All right, this is a good opportunity to, all right, let me see where I'm a little weak at. Take the lesson, take the lesson, take the lesson. All right, put it in the file. Now, let's make sure it doesn't happen again. If it happens again, that's on me. When we get to the wins, I don't rest in the wins for very long either, but I do acknowledge the wins a little bit more. The small wins stack up to the big W. That's why I say start your mornings early with getting up early, that's a win. You made it to the gym, that's a win. You carved out the day and you know what you need to achieve and you have a plan of attack for the, for the day and you're hitting those, those marks. That's a win. Stack the small wins, acknowledge the small wins. I had to start doing that and really be present in it. Not just saying, okay, yeah, we, we got up, we did this. We, no, no, no. We hit these marks today. We got up a, another day. I woke up, didn't hit the snooze button. I'm ready to get to it. You have to start acknowledging what you have achieved and what you did conquer. And that will get you closer to that goal. And the setbacks, look at this as the setbacks. Yeah, they suck. There's nothing fun about, okay, taking an L on something. There's nothing good about that. It hurts, you know, depending on, on what it is. Yes, I get it. But it's an opportunity for you to find the lesson because you're not going to find the lesson in the wins. The biggest teachers, your knowledge, the biggest strides you can make is going to be in the loss. But you have to change the habit around. You cannot let the loss control you and take over you and you get emotional and you miss the point. Look at it as, hey, this is an opportunity to see where I'm weak at. And you may want to learn those things now before you do reach that pinnacle, before you do reach that certain mark that you want to, and a bigger loss happens and you really don't know how to handle it. So sometimes the loss is Listen, I know people who have never gone through trouble in their whole life, right? They've, they've had just a linear life, never, like, they just have to just wake up, be, and they're successful. And I'm telling them, those people, you do not want to be that person. Because the minute something does go wrong, they're going to be ready to jump out the window. So start changing your habits. Changing, start creating a new habit. As when a loss does happen, or you miss the mark on something, say, hey, okay, it sucks, I'm not going to dwell in it, but... Here's an opportunity for me to learn, learn a weakness. And you may gain a new perspective, a new insight that could really, you may need it. A lot of the, the challenges I've had, I faced, man, in retrospect, I kind of needed it. Because it was the only way for me to kind of snap out of a certain mindset, for me to really, okay, get to the next level, embrace the next level. If I didn't go through it, I don't know would I have matured the way I did? I'm sure it would have happened, but it would maybe have taken longer, you know, or I wouldn't have truly understood, understood it. Who knows? But in retrospect, the losses were, and it's crazy to say it, the losses were necessary. I needed the loss. So take that in mind, more on the way.